Hello and welcome to The Banker's View from SWIFT Latin American Regional Conference. I'm Silvia Pavoni, Economics Editor of The Banker, and I'm joined by Adam Olava, who is uh, the head of the attack simulation uh, team within uh, JP Morgan's Global Technology Division. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the invite. Uh, so you obviously uh, look at cyber, cyber threats around uh, the world, but you are now also focusing on Latin America. So how vulnerable is Latin America and how have cyber attacks developed over the years here? Yes, we've seen uh, increased targeting uh, in Latin America from advanced adversary groups uh, to where they're executing or attempting to perpetrate uh, attacks against institutional connections in the payments platforms, uh, they're also executing uh, different types of malware-based attacks, looking at either destructive malware, where the goal is to render systems unusable or unavailable, or more ransomware attacks, where you'll get a pop-up on your machine that says uh, you know, your critical files or your systems are locked up, and you have to pay X amount of money to free those systems. Uh, we've also seen uh, advanced adversary groups doing more kind of what we call APT style, attacks, advanced persistent threat. Um, this is for really sensitive information gathering against these, these companies in Latin America, whether that be intellectual property, um, you know, either government type uh, data or information, uh, transaction information about clients or payments, those sorts of uh, uh, types of data is, is what the adversaries so, are after. So the criminals, are, the cyber criminals are becoming uh, or have become much more sophisticated very quickly. Um, what about their targets? How particularly Latin American banks are responding? Where are the key vulnerabilities? Yes, so we've seen, as I mentioned, in, in payment systems, mm -hmm. um, either local payment systems. So we saw some uh, examples with uh, a central bank uh, in Latin America where the local payment system was compromised and it led to several million dollars in, in fraudulent transactions or global uh, payment systems. And then I got to be clear, it's not the payment systems themselves, but the connections uh, that the firms are making into those payment systems that are not necessarily as secure as they should be. And so the adversaries are injecting fraudulent payments, they're manipulating uh, payments for financial gain. Um, on the kind of malware side of things, as I mentioned, kind of destructive malware or ransomware, uh, we saw an example uh, with a large uh, aluminum producer actually that has uh, significant operations in Latin America where recently they were targeted by a ransomware attack uh, that kind of devastated their operations for uh, a period of time where uh, they had to shut down their actual uh, production side of, of producing aluminum in addition to their corporate network. Um, so that uh, cost them estimated, I think, about 40 million US dollars. So the severity of these attacks is obviously very, very high. What can be done? Yes, yeah, so part of what my team does within JP Morgan, both internally within the bank and externally with our industry partners, is execute uh, cybersecurity simulations. So we take many of those real world examples and the, the high risk scenarios that are targeting companies in Latin America and elsewhere in the world. Uh, and we execute these exercises to prepare our stakeholders for how to detect, respond and recover from these uh, events. Uh, JP Morgan's been very involved in many of the industry exercises that have taken place in the US and even in Latin America last year uh, our bank partnered with the Central Bank of Argentina and we ran a cyber, cyber exercise simulation uh, for many of the uh, large banks there in Argentina to prepare them for how to respond to a cyber event. Uh, so we recommend organizations develop uh, an effective response plan for how to escalate an issue uh, with all the different parts of your company uh, and test that plan on a regular basis. Another area that we advocate frequently is user education and awareness. Mm -hmm. There are many robust technology solutions, which I can talk about more uh, from a security standpoint. However, sometimes organizations fail to focus on uh, the actual users, which could represent the weakest point within uh, a, a company. Of course, and so how far behind do you think Latin American banks in particular in terms of um, um, user hygiene. If you yeah, wish. I wouldn't necessarily say they're they're far behind. Um, they're they're trying to focus on it, much like many other regions in the world are trying to focus. Uh, whether that be kind of regular uh, 
uh, phishing testing uh, to make sure that your employees are exposed to those uh, threats and emails on a regular basis, uh, to uh, mandatory training that users have to, to complete that focuses on cybersecurity issues within your firm. Uh, so we take that very seriously at JP Morgan, and we advocate that our clients and our customers also take that user, user education very seriously. So a lot of points to, to work on, but hopefully Latin American banks are going to get there. Yes. Hopefully sure. faster than, than the cyber uh, attack criminals. So, so thank you very much for your comments. Sure. Great.